here at Noise Art Gallery in Lincoln, Nebraska. Noise Art Gallery has been around for nearly 30 years, and it is the premier place to find authentic art by the local artists. We got a chance to speak with Ben Renicki, a local artist at Noise Gallery. He talks about his inspiration of his artistry. Also, we get a special interview with the owner, curator, director, founder of Noise Gallery, Julia Noise. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We're gonna have Ben Rudnicki share with us information about the gallery and the type of art that's here. Mm -hmm. Now, Ben is an artist himself, and behind us, you can see his art. So tell us a little bit about the gallery, how long you've been here. Okay, I've been in the gallery a little over a year now. So I started last September, was my first year, right around the art and the garden. What kind of art artist are you? I'm an abstract painter, so I do a lot of different styles. Like I have done some like this with the, the minimalist work, and then I've also started dabbling a little bit in graffiti kind of style. Um, and then I also do digital illustration on the side. Would you say someone needs to take a class and learn art? Uh, before they can really become proficient as an artist or is it just gifted within you? Uh, I don't think it's gifted. I think you know, there's there's something to be said about you know You have that drive to want to create and then you just kind of put your mind to it and start. I'm self-taught I did take some classes uh, a lot of it was me finding resources online uh, watching videos on you know YouTube videos and just to see how people did things you know I'm, I'm very process driven I really like to see like how somebody created a texture or how somebody used their palette knife and the different colors they use and stuff like that um, so for me it was just a lot of experimenting a lot of failures there's a lot of failures in there um, but it was something that I just kind of felt the need to, to do mm -hmm. and not necessarily stop because it didn't look right or it wasn't something that not everybody liked on social media or something like that so right okay so when people look at your work what is there something you're wanting them to feel or to get from it um you know i don't really go into it with that kind of mindset i go into it as something that would i like it and if i like it i i hope other people like it um but you know if they find something in there that kind of speaks with them i think that's awesome um for me it's it's really about experimenting and seeing what I can come up with. Okay, who are some of your favorite artists? Um, Jean-Michael Basquiat is really one of mine. I like Salvador Dali, he's really interesting, you know, that surrealism. Um, and then I also take a lot of inspiration from um, just random artists that I see online, you know. Uh, Instagram's always been a really cool place to, to, to take a look at up and coming artists and, and see what they do. So I am sitting here with Julia Noise with a Noise Gallery. And she is the creator, the owner, the director, the founder of this beautiful gallery. And Julia, will you tell us how this all began? Well, before I moved to Lincoln, I was in the, I was an art director in another museum. And so when I moved to Lincoln, I knew I wanted to work with other artists. I was an artist, so I was like really wanting to do my artwork, but I wanted a community to work with, an art community of other creative people that we could get together and do things and help promote and sell and, and just create, it was like a, a different world because with, when you're with other artists and you can get that encouragement and being able to create every month, we were doing shows and still are every month we do first friday we do third friday have to have something new it's like wow it's such motivation because artists want to create but without a deadline it doesn't always happen so that's one of the magic things about the gallery the artists have to bring in new things all the time and of course our patrons love that because every time they come there's new things and here at the noise art gallery we have over a hundred artists we have some guest artists that are just here for a month with uh, other artists who are the worker bees, like myself. We, we all work for free. I work for it free. Everyone works for free. 
So that's a very different business model. So those artists want to help, want to work together, want to be with other artists, want to show their work, improve, be creative, get you know that kind of encouragement from each other. And then we have some artists who just rent a space that aren't available to help. So we do three different things. And then above the gallery, we have studio spaces. And so some of the artists work in their studios or they, their studios are exhibit spaces. So when we came here, this building was an art gallery. The Haymarket Art Gallery was here 25 years, but they were closing. And so I put a bid in on the building and didn't get it. Then I put another bid in on the building and they wanted this to continue as an art gallery. So I finally got the bid. Be careful what you ask for because then it's lots of work. And we're now starting our 29th year and it's more work than ever. The last couple years I have worked night and day with COVID, trying to get the word out. It's a different deal. So we do streaming. You can look on Noise Art Gallery Facebook and you can see our streaming on the cloud. So you can go and see all these beautiful interviews with artists. Uh, we, are, we have a local radio station on KZUM. KZUM is our community radio station. So we actually have our program on there and you can go and hear about the artists that are part of this. We do First Friday and third Friday night. So we stay open from 10 in the morning till 8.30 or so at night. So people can come and meet the artists. So we'll feature different artists that they can enjoy and see and relish their work. So, you know, it's a big project. Most galleries don't have two openings a month. That's pretty much every other week. It's, it's huge. But we want to promote these artists and they're such energy and love. So. For artists, this is a big deal because if you work isolated by yourself, it's very hard to stay motivated or you keep doing the same thing over and over and over. How do you get past yourself? How do you grow? How do you learn? Well, if you're in the public and you're surrounded by a other, uh, you know, all these other artists who could say, oh, I really like that or is that done or tell me about that. What are you thinking? It really creates this growth in you that you could never get any other way. So, you know, I feel very blessed to be in this position of working with other artists. I have grown big time. So I've been working for over 40 years painting and I started off doing very demure, tiny little things that had no color. These are some of the things I do now. Uh, this is a series of our capital. Lincoln, Nebraska Capitol, which I love. I've done many paintings of this, but these are some of my very big pieces. This is a takeoff on pointillism, so it's points of color. So one of my inspirational artists for this was Seurat that did pointillism, but you know, I like many artists like Klempt. Uh, we're all influenced by the, the artists around us, but artists that we have studied throughout history, what they've done and how do we take that and make that our own. How do we go beyond that? So these are some of the other pieces, the tree, which, you know, this has been very interesting. <laughs> I've had several men come in on their own and they will say, this is the sexiest painting I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's like, wow, isn't that interesting? You know, so it has this vibrant reds and all these little pieces of color within this. And many years ago, I was uh, very lucky to study in China. I'd always wanted to, to study Asian art. And so I studied, when I came back, I took private lessons on brushwork, Asian brushwork. So I think some of these trees really show that influence, that dynamic study of skinny brushwork, thick brushwork, twisted. And so, you know, of course, every painting an artist does reflects who they are and their experiences. This is a new piece and it's, you know, it's almost abstract because it is, you know, you have to look to see the birch or the aspen. So it's kind of like this quilt work of all these little flickering colors. And so I'm known for this style, but throughout the years, I've done a lot with abstraction 
And so I would say most people think, okay, Julia Noyes, she does abstractions. So this would be typical of some of my abstract pieces like this yellow one. You know, I do smaller sizes, do bigger sizes. Here is another one of my birch series. So here is a sunset and you can see the vibrant color. So here's the sunset, here's the water. So it's uh, impressionistic, but also abstract in, uh, in the same voice. And then some of these pieces over here are total abstractions. And this is probably what I'm known for because I like design and color and textures and putting this all together. I do teach at a local college, at Union College. I teach the watercolor and oil painting classes. So I'm very analytical when I'm painting. I have a theme, I have a goal, I do my compositions. So even if something is abstract like this, it's not random for me. Does that give you a little glimpse into who I am? I want to thank Julia for taking the time to share her story and the birthing of Noise Art Gallery. The gallery benefits so many talented artists and is also a beacon of light in the community. You can stop by Noise Gallery at 119 South 9th Street, Lincoln, Nebraska. Connect with them on social media at facebook.com forward slash Noise Gallery. The online website is noisegallery.com. Also call the gallery at 402 475 1061.